Why do some startups advance so much faster, get better investment term sheets and grow steeper than others in B2B tech? Good morning, my name is Chris Holter. I lead the SEA research with the University of Edinburgh Business School. And in the next 300 seconds, I'll share exciting new findings from our recent research and what's coming next. Here's our story. A couple of years back, research firm Hill & Knowlton surveyed decision makers from 400 Fortune 1000 companies about their technology shortlisting and buying practices. 75% said the primary decision factor for them was information from industry analyst reports and analyst inquiries. So in three out of four B2B tech decisions, buyers primarily turned to industry analysts for guidance. Now this led the University of Edinburgh Business School to examine the relevance of industry analysts in the startup context too. We all know that, sadly, approximately every second startup does not survive the first four years. But the university research found startups that score a mention in a leading industry analyst publication turned that 50% death rate into an impressive 84% survive and thrive rate. Now that is quite a finding. And both of these results, the impact of analysts on tech buying decisions in general and the success rates of startups inspired a dedicated research program on the matter. The state of startups with industry analysts was designed to get us a 360 degree understanding of this largely overlooked part of the B2B tech playing field. The research team looked at it through three lenses, startups, investors and analysts. And more than 500 participants, mostly across Europe and North America, allowed us to gather the largest body of data on the topic. We got a lot of data-driven insights, motivations and challenges, cost and value, organization and plans, you name it. And one example was the gap. We asked startups about their value expectations from interacting with industry analysts. And we asked analysts about their motives to invest time with young emerging vendors. And what we found was this enormous gap. While eight in 10 analysts speak with startups specifically for the purpose of identifying interesting innovators they can directly recommend to buyers who inquire with them for a particular project, not even three in 10 startups are aware of this going on at all, let alone the magnitude of impact that we showed earlier. Another finding is the four-year advantage. Six in 10 startups said they had been mentioned in analyst publications in one way or another. The average first mention around their seventh year in business. But what really caught our attention was that some startups that began to manage their analyst relations early in the maturity cycle and strategically got analyst mentions four years sooner than the average of their rivals. Four years. That can literally mean a startup lifetime. The SEA research is packed with more valuable information uh, that we're sharing with you. Just drop us a comment or reach out on LinkedIn. But even better, the SEA research has now become a biannual research program. So this year, we'll amend our knowledge with new bits about the best startup use cases or which analyst firms startups are using most and how. And when along your journey, startups are taking what type of actions. And all this can help you understand why some startups advance so much faster, get better funding and so on. But we can't do this alone. We need your input now. Just scan the QR and answer a few questions. It takes 10 minutes or a coffee break. And your view matches whether you have or have no experience with analyst relations. This is about the complete picture. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share. And if you have any questions, just get in touch with Robin Schaffer or myself on LinkedIn. My name is Chris Holscher, and I hope you have a great day.